What's going on guys, Jesse504 here, bringing you all APA playoffs. Unfortunately, it had to be played on Showdown. I was on a ski uh, trip, and I just did not have any availability. And shout out to Jack for playing with us uh, on Showdown. He probably could have definitely at least had the argument of just being able to claim, and I couldn't do anything about that. But he did choose to play us on Showdown, thankfully. And, um, which means we have ourselves a game, and... Unfortunately, it's not very much of a game. We, we have an incredibly, incredibly rough matchup. We decided to go with our draft two to bring it into playoffs. I don't know. Maybe I should have looked at Jack's drafts because that was like public who you play round one before you pick your draft. Um, and perhaps I should have looked at Jack's draft. See, uh, remembered that he had an Urshifu and a Spectre and gone with my draft three or draft two. But I also already just played my draft three. And going... One and three with that draft made me really not want to pick it, even if some of that was due to luck or a misplay. Like, that was very easily undoable. Uh, I like this draft the most. We have to deal with a Spectre now, uh, so it is what it is. And uh, yeah, this matchup is incredibly rough. I've got a physically defensive Tangrowth to help with the Urshifu, uh, Togekiss to help deal with a Spectre, especially defensive. Age of Slash is really good sword stance, offensive, good pivot into stuff. Latios is my main breaker, it is Specs. Um, if I call out the right stuff, it's really good. Weavile can take three spell tags, Spectre or Shadow Balls. Other than that, very good offensively. And Toxapex is just like sort of a mixed defensive check designed to handle the Feeny that didn't come. I really prep for a different style of team. Like the first four, all fine, I kind of prep for. But then I really expected like a spike stacking Skarmory along with a Tapu Finny. And that just really threw me off, just like at team preview. I was not at all prepared for this type of six which uh, ends up being really good for Jack because he is able to sort of like leverage uh, um, me sort of tunneling uh, in a way. So yeah, let's just get right into the leads. I didn't really like, I kind of over like overthought my leads because I was like, I kind of want to try to catch out like a Tangra, or not um, a Tangra, but catch out an Urshifu or like in Dusk lead, which are kind of free with my Tangra, but he could easily capitalize on that lead toxicity and like, it was just like a very tough lead situation. And in the end, I decided to lead my Latios against Lycan Rock Dusk. And I know that I live a hit, so I will gladly just knock that thing down to Sash, potentially knock it out. As he reveals Sword Stance, so I immediately go Tangrowth. I'm like, if he clicks a Cell Rock, cool, I'll kill him with my helmet. And he goes for Sucker Punch. And now I just like accept, expect him to like sort of do something to me, like a close combat, and I would just synthesis it off. But I feel like Knock Off or even Earthquake would be super free. And if I did call the Earthquake right here... Uh, I would have been in a fantastic spot. This Toxicity is like best way to break me down offensively would have been gone or very close to it. And uh, I just didn't capitalize on that when I really should have because I could always just regen uh, or use my Toxapex later in the game to check stuff like that. Um, as he gets the Urshi back in on my Laddie and again I need to switch. I go into my Tangrowth as he sucker punches and again... I'm in an interesting spot. He goes Jirachi, as I believe I just Earthquake. Really want to try to call out that Toxtricity. We do get a nice crit, which is nice. Um, and now I get in my packs, just wanting to sort of like apply some sort of pressure. But he just U-turns and gets in that Toxtricity. If I went Aegislash, I could have been in a much better spot, actually. Huh. But like, I don't know. It was all just very tough. I go Aegislash there on a mid-ground overdrive, and he has choice specs. Uh, so now I go into my Latios, um, and I take 39. Um, he goes Jirachi on a good-ish mid-ground sack, and I call that out with a Mystical Fire, um, which was nice on my end. But now this thing is in, and I'm very fucked up by it. I go Weavile, and I'm, I look at the Calc, and I'm like, okay, I do live a double kick, and then he clicks a double kick and does way more than I was expecting. Even from like a life orb, which you'll see that he is. Even life orb does way more than I was expecting. I was just so confused. And I was like, oh, I just lose. Okay. But he switches because he doesn't kill someone. Can't really risk a T-wave exactly. And I just gleam. Um, I'm super luck, so I could at least try to crit through. And then I go Latios. I probably just should have sacked my Toxapex. It really wasn't that useful. Um, was not the correct sack, because he just called out the Snarl, fantastic play on his end. If I just sacked the Toxapex, I would have been in like an okay-ish position. But now I go Tangrowth, and I can get a relatively free knockoff or Giga Drain on something. 
and I just earthquake because like if he wants to try to like get aggressive or something and stay in I would have been in a bad spot and he just wicked blows me and is life orb and I giga drain once which is good and then like he can do anything to me uh, and he chooses to wicked blow and kill himself and I'm able to synth up which is fine but I actually just earthquake there trying to like see if he would want to get like aggressive or something but he does go into the toxicity and I have to sack my toxapex I see overdrives and then I'm like okay I need to regen once so I go tangrowth and then I feel like I have to go on a sack my togekiss but it actually works out very well for him he's able to get his lichen rock back in and I have to go back into my tangrowth but he doubles diggersby potentially expecting aegislash and so now I can try to like do something to this diggers be via like an earthquake, try to call that out. But he does just sack the lichen rock. Um, and so Tangroth is able to do that. And we're in a 3-3 game now, but really, Toxtricity just comes in. Uh, or Spectre. And I have to regen. I have to go Togekiss. And he can like Calm Mind or something freely. He just Shadow Balls though, which does some chip. And now I have to like flamethrower try to get a little more chip on the toxicity if possible so like I can, he can maybe be in sneak range but he just calm mines uh and so now he calm mines again and i go for gleam try to fish a crit which would have been fantastic for me but now we're in a rough spot he does claim this togekiss very easily and i just have to go aegislash and i feel like it's kind of a 50 50 at this point at one hand like the sneak is like super duper but like here's my perspective i sneak Okay, I'm in Blade. He gets very, very free Toxtricity. And that Toxtricity can click Snarl. He gets very free Diggersby. That Diggersby can click a U-turn. And, like, I kind of have to go tango with and, like, either call out a misplay or something like that. Um, I don't know. So, I feel like I have to sneak. He does go Diggersby. And, let me see. Even if I do close combat that Diggersby, he gets Toxtricity, he gets Snarl, and he Snarls twice. Eh. He snarls twice to 2 KO Tangrowth, I, I believe. Snarl will 2 KO my Tangrowth. If it doesn't, it gets a bit more interesting where I actually have a shot. I have an out. But if I do call that close combat play, he can just go Toxtricity, Snarl, um, or I'm Overdrive might even just raw 2 KO my Tangrowth, or is very close to. I go Tangrowth, I'm able to get in my Tangrowth relatively freely as he goes for a knockoff. And I feel like I have to just Giga Drain here, try to like play off a choke or something. He does knock, um, and I earthquake again, trying to play with a choke, and I can synth up now. I really have to. He knocks again, um, so I can stay at least somewhat healthy. Um, and I can just Giga Drain almost back to full, right? Yeah. And we do chew a Spectre hit, which is cool. Um, and so we're able to like Giga Drain. Um, a fraction of health back but that's not enough for toxicity um, so it's like he just clicks overdrive and he wins I checked my calc and I was like can I regen off an overdrive and live but I couldn't it did like 50 to 58 um, so after 33% off of uh, 14 I believe is what I was at I would have still been in dead range so yeah I really don't think there was a way to win that game. I'm very happy that we brought it close to a 1-0, but like for our, maybe like like from team preview, there's obviously a way to win the game, but not for a while. Uh, I was in a very very rough losing position. So yeah, good game to Jack, and uh, unfortunately that'll end our APA run, but hopefully we will be back in business um, pretty soon. Uh, we've got a couple more games, uh, a couple more leagues. We got Pack. We've got another one that'll be up soon with the draft analysis like next week and uh yeah pack will be going up sundays the other league will be going up fridays we'll be we'll be in a good spot but uh yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed my apa run i'm very happy to play it we had a rough ending um we really did but there was some promise early in the season and uh i'm sad that i wasn't able to capitalize but good luck to jack and i hope he wins it all